Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install Derby plugin in Eclipse. There are seven easy steps you can install the Derby plugin. First step is download the following jars Derby Core plugin and Derby UI plugin. You can use these two URLs links to download the zip files. If you want the latest version, you can change the latest version and you can download from the internet. So, if you want the latest version, you can check in the internet. This is the two links. These are the two links you can get your zip file. So, once you download it, please extract it and place it in the Eclipse plugin folder. So, you will be getting three directories like this: one, two, and three. Only these three directories you will be getting okay so you have to copy to your plugins directory wherever your eclipse is installed you can select the plugins folder in your eclipse wherever you install in your computer then you can copy these three directories to the plugins folder now select the window show view other you could see here data management click expand this data management and click data source explorer once you selected it will be showing this window and select this database connection right click say new click new since we are going to configure derby select the derby and say next now in this window we are going to give the new driver information see the eclipse should know what is the driver jar that it can use it so ensure that you select a derby embedded jdbc driver 10.2 ok then give the jar list just now i showed you three directories one of the directory core directory contains the derby.jar just give this information to eclipse this is important for eclipse then once you do this two operations click ok ok so now you are ready to connect your database give the database name username and password do test connection i have already created uh, a derby database in my eclipse and the moment you connected it you can click connect here already connected that's why it's saying disconnect and uh, i have already created employee table for our demo purpose so there are employee table and there are seven columns in it and this is how you can install the derby plugin in your eclipse and if you want to execute some of the queries you can check you can select this you can select this one and right click open SQL scrapbook so you will be getting a scrapbook like this you can execute any query you want I have written some sample queries for our demo purpose so select start from employee table there are some 10 records so this is the these are the seven steps you can use for Derby plugin installation in your Eclipse hope this video is useful thank you